Hey, what's up guys? So today we're gonna be doing a quick tutorial on how to do the dumbbell incline press, which works your front deltoids as well as your upper chest. So stick with me, I'll show you how it's done. Hey guys, what is up? Coach Danny here. So this week I wanted to go through the incline dumbbell press. Very basic exercise that works the anterior deltoids as well as the upper chest. Um, this is a good pressing exercise here. I'm just ending a set, but it's a good pressing exercise uh, to enhance pushing strength. It's good for martial arts. It's good for people who like to do just uh, functional training. Those people who like to do bodybuilding as well. Um, if you recall, a couple of uh, months ago, I did a video on the flat dumbbell press. This one is just with an incline bench. So um, this is a quick video because the same basics remain. The only difference is now my bench will be at a either 45 or higher incline. You don't want to put your bench too high up simply because then you'll focus more on only doing shoulders and you might as well just do a seated dumbbell press or an overhead press for that matter. So the incline dumbbell press is um, to enhance the pectoral muscles. So you don't want to go too heavy on this exercise, mainly because um, if you start to go too heavy, obviously you'll need a spotter, but not only that is you'll change the focus from the upper chest more to the deltoids. And uh, as I said earlier, this exercise is mainly for the pectoral muscles. Every time you grab your dumbbells and you're sitting down, one of the most common mistakes I'll see people doing is really lifting their hips and their butt off of the bench. It's very important to keep your butt flat on the bench, pinch your shoulders back, and imagine that you want to puff your chest upwards, puff your chest out. This is going to cause a nice natural arch in your back. It's going to save your shoulder joints. This is a very important tip to remember. Now you want to keep a horizontal fist, as you can see here in the movement. That way there, you're going to focus a lot on the squeeze and the stretch at the bottom. So it's a pretty simple exercise. One of the most common mistakes is people just driving the weight super fast and not feeling anything in the pectoral muscles. So this is one of those exercises you want to make sure you warm up correctly, especially if you're starting off with the inclined dumbbell press. Sometimes I'll start with the incline. Sometimes I'll start with a flat. Sometimes I'll start with a barbell. I like dumbbells simply because they enhance stability. They're good for your stabilizers. It's very good if you're doing sports, if you're training for um, enhancement of sports, or in our case, martial arts. Dumbbells uh, are the way to go. Of course, you won't be able to push or lift as high or a higher amount of weight as you would on the inclined barbell press for that matter. Uh, but we're not just um, we're not just chasing muscular size or muscle mass here. The main focus is injury prevention, at least it is in my case, injury prevention, as well as correct form to um, kind of like strengthen your joints, strengthen your ligaments, at the same time that you're enhancing strength for your muscles. We want wrist stabilization, shoulder and elbow stabilization when we're doing these types of pressing movements. So the same details apply once again as the flat dumbbell press. This one is on an incline degree. You could play around with the um, incline. Sometimes some people like to have it more on the flat portion of the incline. Some people like it a little bit more, um, a little higher up, you know, on the incline press. It's really up to you guys uh, to decide which angle works best for the purpose of the exercise. But at the end of the day, I would recommend doing approximately one or two warm up sets, especially if you're starting out with the inclined dumbbell press before any other exercise, 
then you would follow up with approximately two to three working sets. And when I talk about working sets, I mean something a little bit heavier weight where you can handle approximately eight to 12 repetitions. If you want to go a little bit heavier, I recommend doing three to five reps if that's uh, the purpose of chasing strength only. Now, if you're looking to, um, you know, rehab a shoulder injury and you're going through these mov movements along with some elastic band training, then I would recommend higher repetitions with lighter weights. Of course, here I'm not going that heavy. Um, this is probably my maximum. Uh, when I was younger, I used to, you know, use 90, 95 pound dumbbells in each hand to do the incline dumbbell presses. Um, but, you know, that was playing with fire, of course. Uh, now being a little bit more seasoned, a little bit getting up in there in age, I realized that form and function is the priority and it's the name of the game right now and it's not trying to get bigger or stronger as per se. It's more about injury prevention. And our goal is all about jiu-jitsu and Muay Thai, of course, here at Experience. But very quick video, guys. I hope it was helpful. Please make sure to like if you like this video. If you want more, post in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer any questions or make different videos. And of course, hit that subscribe button to make sure you're notified of all future videos. Until next time, keep training hard. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.